This is the Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Check out the Southtown Hyundai Advantage at southtownhyundai.ca. What was introduced during the pandemic or really embraced that you think will stick around? Jeremy, the nurse, wrote in saying, I stopped cutting my hair and I love it. Mm, I wish. For me, Friday night poker games with guys that like I'd love to catch up with but live all across the country. I even have a buddy who is like a, a fighter pilot trainer in Texas, and I finally get to like hang out with him mm-hmm. every Friday night. We play poker a bunch. So of just us. on Zoom. Yeah, exactly. So you go on Zoom and you play poker, and I've managed to win a lot of money over the pandemic. Nice work. <laughs> um, Jen wrote in saying, "I think something I want to see forever is contactless delivery." Mm. All right. And I'm gonna, going to agree with that because for some reason, they always come at the worst time. I'm like, oh, do I have to go put a bra on for this? I the mean, answer is I no. I mean, with skip the dishes and stuff. Skip the bra. You know they're coming. Yeah, skip the bra. <laughs> skip the interaction. <laughs> Love to see it. Okay. That should be their next slogan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, outdoor dining is one of the top answers when people were surveyed of something that's here to stay. Mm-hmm. Uh, hiking. And this one I found interesting. Taking the long way home to discover like more of the neighborhoods around you. So more people, I mean, when you only get out of the house once a day or once a week there for a stretch, it <laughs> yeah. seemed like you're not in a hurry to get home. So you're like, uh, I'm going to see what this where this route takes me. It always bothers me when people make fun of Edmonton as a city to live in because I actually have been exploring it a bit more. Mm-hmm. And there are so many cool parks for you to walk in. There's so many amazing neighborhoods I love creeping on mansions. I don't know who lives in them. Yeah, I don't know a single person that lives in those huge houses. You've almost been arrested a few times no, driving that's through not true. rich neighborhoods way too slow, like just Ugh. staring into people's houses. Yeah, slow in a cul-de-sacs too. Like what? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the police have followed Lisa a few times. No, they have spring cleaning hacks at seven eight zero seven eight four seven one zero seven. You've been making a lot of your own cleaner. There's a Instagram account that everybody loves. I'm pretty sure she lives in Calgary. Her account is Go Clean Co. And her hack was adding the Blue Dawn dish soap mm-hmm. and white vinegar into a spray bottle with some water. And you use that to like spray down your shower doors and okay. you just leave it on there. The only and problem is with, it off. with the vinegar, every time I get in the shower, I want a pickle now. The spring cleaning hack I came across that I thought was brilliant was... Pretend like you're planning or actually do plan for a garage sale in the spring. So go through and gather anything that you think you might be able to sell that you don't use and then look at all the stuff after. And if you don't have enough for a garage sale, just go donate it all. Either way, you're clearing out your house of things you don't need, which is so refreshing. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not talking anything that's over 500 bucks. You'll probably want to figure out how to sell that on Facebook or whatever. But there are so many things that you're like, do I need this? And the answer is always no. Based off of all the texts that we're getting right now from people saying that they love that Instagram account that I said, mm. I'm just going to give it to you one more time. Lindsay said she she thinks that she lives in Cochrane, but still. I was close with Calgary, right? So again, it's Go Clean Co. And it's all just cleaning tips to help things that you just haven't been able to get the grime off of. Mm -hmm. She has all the hacks. The key to cleaning efficiently is honestly just paint over everything. (laughs) Yeah, like paint it the same color as the surrounding, like your hot water tank. Paint it gray to match the foundation around it. You won't ever have to deal with it. You can store stuff on it, like stuff in a closet. Paint it the same is the walls behind it. Oh, it's beautiful. What it's about great. when you have like stuff on the floor that you need to sweep up or clean? Well, that's where the paint rollers come in nice. You just kind of, as if you're <laughs> sweep, sweeping or mopping or swiffering, just go right over it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for yeah. the tip, man. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Use it anytime. It works great. Play. There are certain things that we're told when we're younger, especially, and it's just like, way she goes. Yeah, you believe it because you're a kid. Not any uh, scientific facts to back it up. It's just 
It's been done for generations. Way she goes. Way she goes. <laughs> So an example of this, you have one that uh, is pretty wild. The new story is surfacing Mm -hmm. about how it may have all been a facade, but like breakfast being the most important meal of the day. We were told that, but was this... Apparently it was a ploy from the cereal company to uh, make sure that their product was selling. What is the real answer? We don't know. I'm just reading this study about ginger ale. It says it could actually make your upset stomach worse. And I read that headline and I was like, are you calling my mother a liar? Because growing (laughs) up, every time I felt sick, my mom would give me a little cup of ginger ale, Mm -hmm. sleeve of saltine crackers, and I was good to go. But are you telling me that was, is that a placebo effect? Well, I, I think it is. Like you look at the ingredients of those things and maybe like the salt on the saltine cracker is something... That helps your body recover. I don't know. Maybe just putting something in your stomach. But I think more so it's telling yourself, this will make me feel a little bit better. What are the health benefits of chicken noodle soup? Why does it make us feel better? This study says when you're drinking ginger ale, you're not sipping pure ginger, which does help your stomach a lot. You're drinking fizzy sugar water with a hint of ginger (laughs) flavors, and that's where the problem lies. Well... You're a liar because I'm going to continue to drink ginger ale when I don't feel good because I like it. Yeah, well, that's (laughs) I think that's it, too. Anything that brings you comfort Mm -hmm. in those moments when you're not feeling great is helpful. Right. That's like when I go through a breakup, I'm like, well, now I have to get a pizza to eat to myself. (laughs) <laughs> because it makes me feel better. You've had enough breakups that <laughs> you have Any that excuse. system down, do you? Any excuse. Play 107, it's Ryder and Lisa. Little brainstorm to bring some happiness this morning. We're asking you, what little things in day-to-day life bring you joy? I was driving yesterday, and I realized after getting through an intersection's advance light, Mm-hmm. I looked in my rear view and saw that everyone else made it. And I was so <laughs> happy for them. I okay. was happy for us. Right. I As felt a like crew. we were a team and I was leading it because I was the first one to go. And I went at the perfect time and wow. everyone made it. And it it made my day. We couldn't be more different. Yesterday, I went at an orange light and the other guy s- stayed at the orange light. And I started laughing and I yelled, sucker. So just very different very personalities. Different. But that's something little that happens every day that brings me joy. Johnny wrote in saying seeing a dog with their head stuck out a car window. Mm-hmm. Megan wrote in saying I live in Fort Saskatchewan. So when I get all the green lights through town or on the highway, mm-hmm. that brings me joy. Yeah, there's a good stretch there with a lot of lights out in Fort Saskatchewan. St. Albert, too. If oh. you can somehow manage it's to, not possible in St. to Albert. hit all the green lights there. Yeah, it's only like it's the kind of thing you hit <laughs> once in your life and it's memorable out there. I think if anybody has ever hit every green light on St. Albert Trail, they should get an award for it. They should name St. Albert Trail <laughs> after them. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, it seems like we're getting a lot of texts into the show this morning about their drink has to be perfect. Mm. I'd like to put one on the list. Uh, when I hear rain on the roof, especially when it's dry, mm. I think growing up on a farm, yeah, like drought was always a concern or like dry conditions. And so when it would rain, there'd just be like this ease Everyone was happy. You didn't have to work. Yeah. You knew that the ground needed it. And so for some reason still, it's just when I hear rain on the roof, especially when it's dry, it just brings me back to that peaceful time, I suppose. Yeah. Wow. Am I going to cry? I think you're going to make me cry. (laughs) Stop (laughs) it. Tara says the perfect Caesar. (laughs) Okay. Let's move on to <laughs> other drinks. Yeah, other kinds of drinks that bring us joy. Um, Leslie says a really good book. Yes, when you finish a good book and you close it and then you take the book and you press it against your chest and you go, oh, that was good. <laughs> Nobody it's does a gr- that. Everybody does that. No. <laughs> it's time for the nostalgia off where we both come up with five things that'll bring you back. And hit you right in the feels. Hopefully. You let us know whose list resonated with you more. They win. And we have a big wager on it today. Winner gets access to the loser's Facebook and gets to write whatever they want as a status that has to be left up for 24 hours. And does the winner have to say who they are? No. They're pretending to be the other person. Exactly. Ooh, juicy. Okay. (laughs) 
So we definitely need your votes. Are you ready? Yes. When your parents would leave and then the phone would ring, so you'd answer it and pretend that your parents were home. You'd yell, Mom, phone's for you. And then say, sorry, they're busy. They can't come to the phone right Mm, now. Just protection, right? Every time. Uh, My first one is the white casserole dishes with the three blue flowers on the front, the clear glass lid. When it was dinner time, boy, you knew. Looking at that. (laughs) You knew what? That dinner was going to be lit. (laughs) Another casserole. The Yikes Colorful Pencils, Erasers, and Sharpeners. Remember the slogan was, pencils your parents won't swipe. Hmm. No, I don't remember that. Come on. Everybody had them. They were colorful. How about this? The Fraggle Rock Happy Meal Toys, son. Why do you keep saying boy and son? <laughs> All right. Throwing pennies into the fountains at West Edmonton Mall. Mm, good one. Uh, Joey from Blossom busting out a whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Playing Mario Kart with your friends and you think you're killing it. But then you realize you were looking at the wrong screen and you're actually in eighth place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Once again, this is the nostalgia off. Whose list resonates with you more? Going back and choose your own adventure books to see what would have happened in the <gasps> adventure you didn't choose. That's a really good one, Ryder. I will give you props for that. Before cell phones, reading the embarrassing date stories in Cosmopolitan and you were way too young to be reading them. Or, I mean, you could also choose an Archie comic to sit on the toilet with. Uh, And finally, my last one is that feeling as you swing the doors open and walk into a new world after finishing your last high school final. Ryder, you're bringing fire today. Yeah. All right, so let's spit fire both of our lists real quick, and then you get voting on the text line. Who won? When your parents would leave and the phone would ring and you'd just pretend that they were home but they couldn't come to the phone. Yikes, colorful pencils, erasers, and sharpeners. Throwing pennies in the fountains at West Ed. Playing Mario Kart and thinking that you're killing it, but really you're in last place because you're not looking at the right screen. And before cell phones, you'd sit on the toilet and read the embarrassing date stories in Cosmo or Archie Comics. The white casserole dishes with the three blue flowers on them. The Fraggle Rock Happy Meal Toys. Joey from Blossom busting out. Whoa. Going back and choose your own adventure books to see what happened in the adventure you didn't choose. And opening the doors after finishing your last high school final and walking into a new world, son. I am feeling very nervous right now based on the text line. This one, to- this one text from Dustin said, Ryder gets the win, boy. <laughs> so yeah, we. I need your votes. Whose list no, brought no, you back? No, 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 you can't. What? Yes, you, I can. This isn't a political campaign. Should be. We've given the list. I don't want you to have my access to my Facebook page. <laughs> Well, we had a wager today for the nostalgia off. The loser had to give access to the winner, uh, their Facebook page. Yep. All right. So did you post something already? I'm so nervous. It's posted. Okay. And I'd like for you to head over to Facebook. I'm not opening Facebook today. Come on. You have to go and read (laughs) what I wrote. Thank you for all the votes, by the way. Yeah. I really ran Thanks away with a lot. it today. Thanks a lot for the votes. <sighs> Does anyone have a remedy suggestion for a raging butt itch? Ryder, this is so <laughs> immature. I don't know if I got a bad case of the Hemis or an allergic reaction back there, but it's so bad I've thought about taking a pine cone to it. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers, please. Thanks. <laughs> it was ju- It literally still says just now. Posting has six <laughs> likes. <laughs> and there's probably people that are just waking up. They weren't listening to our show this morning. <laughs> right. That's the point. You got to leave This is the up. worst bet to lose ever. So Ryder's gone on three runs this spring, and he thinks he's an expert. What do you mean, I think I'm an expert? You're going to start bringing trail mix as your snack here at work. And I can just picture it now. Just keep it in a little fanny pack on my side? Yeah. That's the best place to keep the fanny pack when you're running. You don't know that. I do. Trial and error. Okay. So if you're such a running expert, do you have any advice for people that are just starting out? Yeah. You're going to want to have some shoes. Mm-hmm. But running barefoot's pretty fun. So that can work, too. And then you're one with Earth. Yeah, exactly. It's good to ground yourself every once in a while. Uh, But yeah, if you get a lower abdominal cramping, it's probably dehydration. How uh, did you figure that one out? 
I got a lower abdominal cramping, and then I checked it out on Google. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, <laughs> you'd think I went for like a 20K run. I went for like a t- not even a 20-minute run. How many times did you have to stop? To tie my shoe a couple times. But I laid down to tie my shoe. <laughs> I think it was also a break. Uh, but yeah, no, get that water in you before, but not too much, because that can lead to cramping That's as well. also a cramp. Yeah, there you go. Okay, That's thank a, you. Another episode of Runner's Corner. New segment on the show. See you out there on the trails. <laughs> I have an idea for summertime. Okay. When the vaccinations are done, we see the numbers fizzle into nothing. We can ditch the masks. I'm hoping by summertime that's a thing. I say we take our masks and turn them into swimsuits, little itty bitties. Oh, okay. I see what, what you're doing there. I'm just holding my mask right now. And I'm I prefer showing not. You how, no? You're like, you could make a fine looking little Speedo with this thing, <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. You might need it, two of them. But. It's pretty wild to me, looking back over the year, how many masks I had in the beginning, and now I have one. That and I have where? to wash. Where did they go? They're, they're like socks. They're like socks in the washing machine. Yeah. Who has them? I don't know where they went. A school field. No, that's where they all are. You're not like throwing them. I guess they fall out of pockets when mm. you grab dog treats, things like that. Maybe. Also, awful when you put it in the pocket that has dog treats, and then you have to wear it. Exactly, chicken livers <laughs> on my nose. <laughs> Ryder and Lisa. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Play 107.